Hey subscribers, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a series of videos on how to do the order of operations in mathematics. Let's get straight into it. So some definitions here. When we are talking about operations, we are talking about multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And the order in which we do these when we are given a question can change the answer. So we need to have consistent rules for this and these consistent rules are going to be looked at now. Um, you may have come across bid mass or bod mass or some variation of that. Now in secondary school we don't really use that. The reason we don't use that is it leads to some misconceptions. For example the idea that division always comes before multiplication. That's not always true. They're actually equally important and you just work from left to right. So we're going to look at that in a bit more detail. We're not going to refer to bid mass or bod mass, we're just going to say order of operations and I'm going to show you how we're going to represent them using a pyramid. So we're going to use this pyramid here. The first thing at the top of the pyramid that you do first is brackets. So anything to questions that have brackets, you do the bracketed bit first. Within the brackets, you also follow the order of operations. So if you have brackets inside brackets, you do that first. The second thing you want to look at is indices. So indices are things like when you have 7 squared or 5 cubed. So 7 squared is 7 times 7. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. Or even square roots. So the square root of 36 for example, you, you would need to work that out first. Um, so brackets first, then indices, which includes things like square roots. And later on, when you do thirds, you're going to come across this in a bit more detail. The next thing is multiplication and division. Now, these are equally important. So multiplication and division, whatever comes first in the question, you do first. For example, if you have a question that is 10 divided by 4 times 6, you would have to do 10 divided by 4 first and then multiply by 6. If on the other hand you had 10 times 4 divided by 6, you work from left to right. These are equally important so you just do 10 times 4 first or in this example you do 10 divided by 4 first. Okay, so that's why they're on the same level. The next thing we want to look at is adding and subtracting. Again, equally important, so we go from left to right. Now, there's another way of showing this pyramid, and that is this thing here. And it just kind of shows that each level is equally important. The n can be any number. Okay, so in this case it could be, for example, 7 and the a could be another number, uh, 2, a to the power 2, and so on. So this is what we're going to look at when we refer to the order of operations pyramid. This is just a reference. Hopefully you can remember this uh, without too much um, help or hints needed. Make sure to copy this out specifically into your books so you have a reference for it for all future questions.